Our top focus on climate tracker today is on Antarctica's doomsday glacier. Scientists have looked back in time and have discovered that the glacier started retreating rapidly in the 1940s and never showed any signs of recovery. Now, the Thwaites Glacier in West Antarctica is the world's widest glacier, so much so that it's about the size of Florida. It has been nicknamed as the Doomsday Glacier because its collapse could cause a catastrophic sea level rise. Scientists knew it had been losing ice at an accelerating rate since the 1970s, but because satellite data only goes back a few decades, they did not know exactly when significant melting began. A new study now by the National Academy of Sciences has found the answer there. By analyzing marine sediment cores extracted from beneath the ocean floor, researchers found that the glacier began to significantly retreat in the 1940s. Now, according to the report, the glacier has been unable to recover ever since then, which may reflect the increasing impact of human-caused global warming. Authors say that the findings are alarming because they suggest that once drastic changes are triggered, it's very hard to stop them. The study shows that even if a trigger for rapid melting has ended, that does not mean that the response stops. In fact, once an ice sheet retreat is set in motion, it can continue for decades. This latest research, therefore, is alarming about what might happen to the ice in Antarctica. The Doomsday Glacier's fate will have ramifications not just in Antarctica but globally. The glacier already contributes 4% of sea level rise as it sheds billions of tons of ice a year into the ocean. Its complete collapse could raise sea levels by more than two feet. But it also plays a vital role in the stability of the West Antarctic ice sheet. The ice sheet holds enough water to raise sea levels by at least 10 feet. Its collapse could cause catastrophic global flooding.